Hi guys, it's Chris at Cork and Crown, back in my cider shed with some more cider to try. And it's something that I saw somebody else try. Adam Wells, the cider review uh, writer, brilliant writer in my opinion. And he did a, a series of sort of commercial ciders and this is one of them and I'd never had it. But it's the one that he liked the best. It was a range of stuff from, I think it, was, it might all have been from Westerns actually. I think it was all from Westerns. Um, and he tasted this one. And I mean... He said it was the best of the bunch. So make of that what you will. But I thought I want to try it. And which one is it? It is Stalford Press. You've probably seen it around. I've seen it around, but never had any ears to pick it up. Um, expertly crafted in Herefordshire by Westerns. Uh, so, yeah, much Markle. We've had Westerns lots. You see it around lots. I don't love all of their stuff. My favourite one is, in fact, their Wildwood. I think it's the best thing they do. By, a, by quite a margin, actually. So I'm interested to see how this compares. What does it say on the back? Award-winning sparkly medium dry cider with a refreshing taste of, side, of, of crisp apples. It's because we're so close to every part of the journey, from picking to pressing to pouring, that Storford Press Cider tastes so good. Crafted at the Western Cider Mill in Herefordshire, Storford Press Cider is made with 100% local home-pressed apples from blossom to glass. Brilliant. DBDBD contains sulfites to preserve freshness. ABV, 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 4.5%. So there you go. I also bought something else at the same place that was on the shelf right next to this. I'm not going to say what that is because I think I'm going to try that after this and do it as a separate film. Okay? So let's crack this mother open. Very white shirt on. My wife bought me a white t-shirt. I do like white t-shirts, but I never buy them because they immediately get covered in filth. Even if I haven't had tomato sauce, somehow they get tomato sauce on them. I don't know how it happens. It's a miracle. So, got my nice cider salon glass again. My excellent tasting glass, which I love very much. Let's pour this out. So, force carbonated. Yeah, force carbonated. One assumes. Filtered one assumes. Cultured yeast. One assumes. I'm going to put them in oak vats, but for like like a matter of days or a couple of weeks or two or whatever it is so it doesn't really it's a bit, I mean is it a gimmick I don't know what does it bring to the party I don't know I don't know let's have a look at this so colour wise eh, it's alright I mean it looks like they're using some proper cider apples with some tannin in it because that's got some colour to it and it doesn't seem super fizzy either which is also a good thing me like that let's have a sniff Smells of cider. We do smell of cider. Um, also, I mean, there's a hint of like sort of crisp uh, apple character to it, which makes me think more of like an eating style apple um, or a sharp or something like that. But there's a there's a sh yeah sharp something that's not super tannic. But also there is a kind of a sweated apple character to it in there as well. It's delicate, but it's there. I want to say like a, almost like a slightly stewed apple character as well, maybe. Delicate. It's all right. The nose is not offensive. I am not offended by this nose. Let's have a taste. It has some tannin. Delicate, but it's there. Soft tannin. No hard tannin to speak of. It does have quite crisp acidity, I must say. Um, so I'm wondering if they are, but they're blending in some uh, sharps and sweets, like culinary, whatever, um, to balance it. Um, that kind of baked apple thing I got on the nose, I'm not exactly getting. It, it, there is almost like a slightly green malic character to it, subtly. There's hints of kind of like, I don't know, caramel toffee to it. Just hints, you know, like the... the the least toffied toffee apple you could ever get. If you could just put a, the, the finest sheen of toffee on a toffee apple, meh, just sort of be like this, I reckon. However, one thing I will say, it's not heavily backsweetened at all. 
the stuff that by the the vintage stuff i can barely drink that it's just too sickly sweet for me i just don't like it and it's 8.4 percent this is four point this has been watered down so actually i mean that color if you think it's been watered back to four point was it four point five yeah it's been watered back to four point five um then actually the color's not too bad you know because obviously the, the color gets diluted as well as the actual drink so color wise unless they're adding colorants which they're allowed to do they are allowed to do it. I don't know if they have to list it on the on the label, um, but yeah, it's all right. The Wildwood's better though. The Wildwood is better. I wish Adam had tried the organic Wildwood alongside them because I think it is superior to this. But it's not cloyingly sweet. It's got decent apple character, hints of tannin, minerality. It is a little bit watery, but yeah. I'd rather drink this than the vintage stuff, for sure. Because this is actually, it's got a refreshing character to it and it's not clanging sweet. So there you go. There you go. So, Storford Press from Westerns. Consider yourself tasted. Okay, guys. Thank you for joining me in my shed. I hope you join me again. But until that time, cheers. <laughs>